This is the soldiering gun from the popular ZD915 station. You can buy them new separately from the station for a reasonable price. It should be about 30 US dollars. So the principle is obviously there is a heating element here um, and then a pump, sucking pump is triggered by pushing here on the on the trigger and from the gun there is a tube where you need to connect a vacuum pump and there is an electrical socket and what's in in the socket what pins we have so in the socket we have a thermocouple so there is a temperature sensor in the in the gun it is k type thermocouple there is a plus on pin number one there is a minus of the thermocouple on the pin number two so plus and minus uh, then we have a heating element on the pins three and four and then we have a switch so this trigger is basically a micro switch that is inside and uh, it is on the pins 5 and 6. So thermocouple, heater and a switch on the central pin and pin number, number 5. And that's essentially what is uh, what's going on in here. Now as we know uh, already from other sources uh, this gun despite being so like 24 volts and 80 watts in fact it works best from the um, 18 volts there is 1.4 ohm element so it's quite low resistance uh, heating element in uh, inside comparing to other irons where you You'd have probably something about 12 ohm, ohms cold. Here the cold element has a resistance 1.4 uh, ohms. So you can quite uh, easily calculate that there is a quite high current uh, going through this, through this cold, cold iron. Uh, uh, iron. Uh, I'm going to show you actually how this works uh, and what are the actual values uh, of the current when it's connected to 18 volts uh, and how the thermocouple uh, works here. So here is our test setup uh, for the, the soldering gun. Uh, the lap power supply will provide 18 uh, volts. There will be amps and wattage here on the display. There is a thermocouple already attached uh, to the, the soldering gun element. It's showing room temperature at the moment, 21 degrees. And I'm going to switch it on and we're going to see what is what's going to happen. Here we go. As you can see the temperature is rapidly raising uh, and the amps are going down as the heating element is uh, heating up. So right now we have under 6 amps and 100 watts. It's 250 degrees and it's 5.8 amps. Here I'm going to stop it. It's 150 degrees and uh, it was just under 6 amps of uh, current. Um, so that's um, basically what is going through this, uh, through this element. Um, as you can see it is much more than declared 80 watts on 24 volts. So no surprise that these um, guns failed when they are powered from 24 volts 
uh, I would even think that this 18 volts is probably a little bit too uh, too much. Um, I'm going to change the voltage to 16 volt volt. So I'm tempted tempted to go even even lower, but we're going to drop uh, to 16 volts, and uh, we're going to do exactly the same test. So look at the current, look at the wattage, and here is the temperature uh, that is measured uh, from the uh, elementary thermocouple. So here we go. As you can see the temperature is going up, the wattage is 92 watts. Temperature goes <coughs> up a little bit slower. It's 80 watts, 5.4 amps. As you can see, the temperature raises raises definitely slower than it was with the 18 uh, 18 volts. It's going up nicely still, and we are reaching approximately the 18 volts that is declared on the on the gun uh, itself as the as it heats up to. 300, uh, 330. I'm going to switch it off at the moment. So I would suggest 15, 16 uh, volts uh, as an optimal um, power supply of voltage for the for the heating uh, element. It is still on the cold um, cold element. It's still going to reach quite high uh, current, uh, but as the temperature is uh, higher, the resistance roughly doubles. Uh, resistance of the heating element roughly doubles uh, and then um, we'll be running this gun at about five uh, five amps uh, and that's what your power supply needs to be rated at around six amps I would say minimum um, and 15 16 16 volts 